Hello and welcome to our review of the Singapore Gold Cup of 2016, sponsored this year by Desta. A field of 12, a race in recent years that has been dominated by horses of light weights. The weight scale of the race had been changed, so maybe a chance there for horses carrying heavier weights, horses like Keshwa, who'd won the race a couple of years ago. Well, the weather was good, a new sponsor in Desta. Let's relive the great day, the Singapore Gold Cup. There's very few jockeys anywhere in the world that love to win more than this guy. Unprecedented El Dorado wins it for Ronnie Stewart and Takioka. Good luck in the modern era. This is absolutely unprecedented for a horse. But he loves November and he loves the November rain here this afternoon. It's Morris Chitrono trying to get there, but another one for the master Takioka. This wonderfully, progressively has done it again. But Keshwa for Corey Brown takes the cup. Keshwa wins it from the fly. Fast near Dragon. Kotaro is through on the inside. They hit a tight one. I'd say Kotaro. He's done it again here with a training performance. Hello and welcome to the Singapore Turf Club for our biggest race of the year, our best handicap race, over 2,200 metres. It's the running of the 2016 edition of the Desta Singapore Gold Cup, a new sponsor in 2016. We have a field of 12 going around. Good afternoon and welcome to the coverage here from Makranji at the Singapore Turf Club. It's going to be a great race, a field of 12 going around, $1.35 million on offer for a field of 12. Really looking forward to this. I'm joined by Nicholas Child here with the uh, trophy, uh, the uh, Singapore Gold Cup and a horse that won the race two years ago is Keshwa and he's back to try and win his second Gold Cup Nicholas. Yeah he's a fantastic horse Matt he was a winner of this race two years ago as you say he hadn't had many starts in Singapore leading up to this in 2014 and uh, well he's been a really good horse he's a derby winner as well so uh, for that reason he's going to carry top weight and he's going to be there or thereabouts for sure big chance. Yeah, he's a wonderful horse, isn't he? Uh, Keshwa, I've been a big fan. Uh, his second in the Raffles Cup recently was uh, very good, of course, and a lot to like about him. Here he is um, winning a race, um, the Gold Cup there a couple of years ago. Just a marvellous performance from him on that occasion to win. And uh, look, he's trained by uh, Pat Shaw, who had uh, Coptado win the race last year. And this year, uh, Pat's got four runners, and a very interesting one is Majestic Moments, who for so long in 2016 has just gone so close but not been able to win a really big race. Yeah, Matt, if ever there was a horse that deserved to win a race uh, of this calibre, it's Majestic moments he's danced every dance that he's been there or thereabouts in some really good races uh, and this afternoon if he brings his a game to the table which I'm sure he will come from Pat Shaw's stable he's gonna be a big chance just wonder if he saved up his best for the for the biggest stage of all that's uh, majestic moments and laughing gravy another horse who already this year actually has won a group one he won the uh, QE2 Cup what a story it would be for a trainer Cliff Brown and also uh, Michael Rod. Oh, fantastic. Cliff's had a great season and uh, Laughing Gravy, the QE2 Cup winner, as you say. And, you know, Cliff's taken all before him this year. He's had plenty of big success and uh, I'm sure he'll be hoping for some more. Well, this is what they're fighting for. It's a magnificent trophy. It's the Adesta Singapore Gold Cup. And fortunately, the weather gods seemingly have been uh, quite kind. It has been a little threatening through the uh, course of the afternoon. But at the moment, as it stands, it's cloudy. There's no rain. There was uh, just some... You know, gentle um, precipitation earlier on in the day. The track is a 5.0 good track, so uh, there'll be no excuses, I think, with a perfect surface for racing here today. Well, let's have a look at the uh, 12 runners who are going to post in the Desta Singapore Gold Cup of 2016, a 2,200 metre race. We're on the long course B today. It's worth $1.35 million. And Keshwa will wear saddlecloth number one for Vorster and is down a couple of kilos. Looks a, a big chance here for Keshwa to win his second Gold Cup. Majestic Moments, nearest Jaglal number two is down a couple of kilos. Uh, number three is Laughing Gravy, is down uh, quite considerably in body weight, down 15, and will jump from gate number four. Mr. Spielberg for Vlad Jurek, plus three in gate number two. Over the page in the Gold Cup, we have Titanium for Harry Kassim, plus two, gate number one, Coptado, Olivia Plasse, plus one in gate ten. Blue Swede, a surprise inclusion in the race, Matt Kelly down one, gate number eleven. Time Odyssey is down a couple, gate number three, and Oscar Chavez will ride one of Pat Shaw's runners. Bahana's been in scintillating form, Craig Williams to ride uh, Bahana. 
is uh, down seven kilos, gate number 12 for Bahana. Cheetah on fire, third in the race there a couple of years ago. Zuriman, big thrill for the young man. Down six, gate number six. Squire is Balderston there for Munro, plus four, gate number nine. And Daniel Johnson will ride Newlands in the Gold Cup. Well, that's the uh, field, a field of 12 in 2016. To help us with the coverage uh, out in the parade ring, we've got Larry Foley, and with him is Gareth Pepper. Yeah, good uh, afternoon, everybody. Good to be in the uh, parade ring here for the Desta Singapore Gold Cup with me, uh, Larry Foley. And Larry, uh, another outstanding chance uh, in what has been a very prestigious race over the years is a horse called Bahana. He won the uh, lead up, the prelude to this, uh, the El Dorado Classic. And what makes it even better for him is that he's got uh, an international visitor. It gives him that nice international feel uh, with the leading rider, Craig Williams. Well, I think the important thing with Bahana, one, the El Dorado forms always held up in this race. The El Dorado has been a lead up race for the last few years. The form's been terrific. Bahana wins it, gets a start, 50 kilos. <laughs> so it's, 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 ticks all the boxes. It absolutely does. He's going exceptionally well. So Stephen Gray, he had a feature winner on Friday night and he'll look to continue there. Another chance. And this, just quickly, the same thing. International jockey, lightweight. Stephen Gray's doing a lot of things right this weekend. So the writing's on the wall there. The other chance we alluded to is Mr. Spielberg, Laurie Laxon, Vlad Jurik, a horse that uh, this time last year we thought would be an outstanding chance. Things went to miss, but things are going well this year. No, he's flying this year, and Laurie Laxon's a champion trainer of the Melbourne Cup, and um, even his wife won one, so that's how good Laurie goes. Mr. Spielberg probably had the perfect preparation for this as far as it raced in the weight for age races and drops in, in weight where your Quachas and that don't. So Mr Spielberg, big chance and uh, a lot of people will be cheering him home. Craig Williams is in town to ride Bahana uh, Larry and it's great to have Craig here, a man who's travelled the world, he's had success uh, at the highest level. Does he got a chance? I think so. Yeah, well with Craig Williams, uh, Craig uh, no stranger to Singapore. You're in Perth yesterday and probably somewhere else the day before. So, travelling jockey, but you've come over to ride this horse specifically. Yes, that's right. Um, it was great. Uh, Stephen Gray and the owners uh, offered to fly me over, so I was looking forward to it. Um, haven't had a winner tonight, so it's important. It's my last ride, so I better make the most of it. And heading straight back tomorrow? No, I'm actually uh, Vlad Jurek's daughter's birthday is uh, tomorrow, so my wife said, we've got four children home, she said, get some sleep, and because uh, when you get home, uh, there's not much sleep time. Good luck. Thanks very much. It's great having Craig in town, uh, world-renowned jockey, and uh, we wish him well on board. Number nine, Bahana, who's going to be my first choice to take out the Gold Cup for 2016. Let's move on to another one of his in time, Odyssey. This is a son of Jet Master, South African bred. Oscar Chavez rides with 51 and a half kilos. Will he be up to these? I don't know. Uh, is he going to be uh, an influence in the race? I reckon he will. He's a, a pace influence. He'll jump and I think he'll ensure this horse that there will be a pace. All right, we're going to move on to our next contender who is a Blue Swede, horse number seven. And I thought he was a bit of a surprise um, acceptance for this race. And uh, he's trained by Shane Birchiger. Has he uh, got any hope here? Oh, he's one of my favourite horses because he's the type of horse that gets back and comes home. But he's tested, uh, this is his first time over this trip, which is a concern. He's tested at sort of this level. He's won at Cranji Stakes A level before. But I tell you what, if there's, it could get um, interesting very late if he settles well and he's got something left in the tank, he can fly home late. Well, we've seen some of the leading hopes in the Gold Cup of 2016. Don't go away because after the break, we'll be showing you the 2200 metre showpiece, the Desta Singapore Gold Cup.